What is going on, everybody? This is the me you be, and today I have for you guys yet another online rag match with the Carolina Panthers going up against the Baltimore Ravens at home. And the Panthers were requested by Sky Puppy 5 so leave it in the comment section below who you would like me to play with next, and that team could premiere one of my videos. So, like I said, the Baltimore Ravens were at home. I chose heads to start off the game. I was correct. I kicked the ball as I always try to do at the very beginning of each game. Defense left. That's not important. Let's get on to the gameplay. He gets the ball, and he's already trying to establish a uh, running game with Ray Rice. I mean, Ray Rice is such a beast. You know, I definitely can see him being a big part of this offense. But on third down, we're reading what he's doing. He sheds the tackle, but I'm there with Nakamura for the third down style. But he does go for it on fourth and four. Definitely caught me off guard with the drop play. I did not see that coming. So on a new set of downs, we hold him to a third and eight, and Joe Flacco drops back, and I was really surprised that wasn't caught for pass interference right there, but I'll definitely take it. So on fourth and eight, we're trying to stop him, but right there, did you see my guy just run right past the ball? Why did he not even put his hands up and even try and you know, swatted or anything, so instead he gets another fourth down conversion right here, we're playing great defense, and he's forced to make a bad throw, because is this a joke, con, John, con, John Beeson comes up with the first pick of the game, and it was a big one too, he was already about at midfield, and now we're back at midfield, so we, you know, good field position to start off right there, and uh, right there his users are off, because I just, he was ran a little bit uh, to the outside, I just cut him on him inside, and D. Williams got a gain of at least a little, a little over 14 yards, Oh, the, a new set of downs on second down and ten. We find Steve Smith wide open on the right side, and then we catch him again over the middle for the easy touchdown. So we got in the touchdown. We got in the end zone. I'm sorry, very easily. And on a brand new set of downs, he's going deep because we had everything locked down, and we get another user pick two in the first quarter. So it's looking good for us. But then when I get uh, bring the ball onto the offense. I end up throwing a pick, and he baited me, and that was a really stupid play. I was He didn't really even bait me. He was just watching that, you know, that player the whole time. But right there, that's a bait right there. On the very first play of the second quarter, we end up coming up with another interception. John Beeson with two, and that's three total for the game. On third down and nine, I don't know why I was trying to swerve two spies right there. But I did, and a fourth and five, this is one of my money plays. We find Greg Olsen wide open on the right side of the field, and we pick up the first down easily and then some. Right here, look at Scram. He says, get off of me twice, and is ah, a little bit too shy for the first down. So on third down and three, we drop back. We're trying to precision Steve Smith, but instead I take off, swerve the spy. But, man, these Ravens are fast. I barely got past him, and I'm lucky that Cam Newton didn't fumble right there. And look at this play right here. Precision pass to Steve Smith is just an absolute dot. He was lurking it, but Cam was just on point this entire game, besides that one pick that I threw earlier, but that was completely my my fault. That wasn't Cam's fault at all. And look at this play right here. That's, I think it's kind of funny how his guy didn't even try for a pick. So you know he's got to be mad. So we're driving down at ease right now. And as you can see, I mean, we're late in the second quarter. We got 30 seconds left on second down to four. I don't really think I have anything. I just throw up a tee bag and we end up coming down with it. Brandon LaFell almost never catches those for me, but he ended up catching that one. So it was a huge break that we had. And with 15 seconds left in the second first half, he finds Jacoby Jones wide open. Well, not really wide open. He was contested. I should have tried to swat it instead of ball hawking. And he does the weenie move, and he kicks the onside. So now he's only down by seven, but now he's in field goal range because with three seconds left, he calls a timeout. He gets his way into field goal range. And just like that, he scored 10 points within a matter of 30 seconds. However, I do get the ball to start off the second half and at this point I'm just going to try and start running the forest heavy and it, it ended up working uh, really well this game you guys will see later in the video and look at that pass from scram right there I mean like I said he was just on point I really should have checked his stats at the end of this game but uh, you guys will see what happens at the end of this game right here on a huge third down and six we get a nice spin move with scram we're in the man's red zone right here after a nice run from D'Angelo Williams. We get inside the five, and I'm thinking this touchdown is going to be easy, right? On second down and goal, we try running with Mike Tolbert. We don't get it. On third and goal, we try running with Scram New. We don't get it. So, unfortunately, we have to take the field goal. You know, I, I don't want to risk it and go for a touchdown because what if I don't get it? I'd rather take my chance with a one-possession lead. 
right here uh, i was just one step out of position with james anderson but it's whatever though because we're right here we come up with the no <laughs> edwards drops it i mean that's understandable though he's on the defensive line but on third and ten he tries this play and remember that play by the way he tries the counter out of the uh shotgun and so on fourth and 11 i left my zone because i was trying to lurk on somebody else but instead he ends up getting the first down so you know he's moving the chains late third quarter here and, and just oh, i'm one step out of position yet again i was getting so close with some of these picks but i just couldn't come up with the big plays but on first and goal he catches me wide open on the left side with thompson and he, you think he may have an easy touchdown, right? First and goal, stopped. Second and a goal, there's that play. I run to the outside, we're able to contain him in the middle. Third and goal. He tries doing a running play right up the middle. We stop it, fourth and goal. And he gets in. So it was a little bit demoralizing right there because I, I absolutely thought he was going to score easily, but instead he ended up scoring on the fourth down. And right here, the forest heavy catches him. Look at that draw play, dude. D'Angelo Williams in the open field. I didn't even want to cut in because D'Angelo Williams hasn't fumbled yet this game, and I didn't know if he was going to yet. At this point, I'm just trying to waste some clock, maybe get uh, the first down, but all I'm looking to do really is just try and get in field goal range. Right there, I get stuck. I could have easily swerved Ray Lewis, so instead we settle for the field goal. Oh, man, we almost didn't make it too because this game was lagging a little bit. So, you know, we had to be careful. Right here on second down to 10, he tries a screen play. We stop at third and 12. That same play where a few drives ago, he got me on fourth down. But instead, he throws it to the left side, and we get the game-winning pick. I mean, how are you going to come back from something like that? Although we don't get in for the end zone, that's okay. We get it inside his own red zone. We're just trying to waste clock. You know, we want him to burn his timeout. So on second down and eight. Instead of, we call the forest heavy, but instead of doing the draw play, we call a curl route to Brandon LaFell. Ends up working to perfection. Because at this point, we just end up running out the clock. And I do apologize because my editing software uh, was really uh, bad right here. Well, not really bad because I ran out of space. So, unfortunately, I didn't get to see the ending. But here is the proof that I did win. So, as you can see, this is 15 and. 50 and 9 pregame, and I'm 51 and 9 after the game. So I hope you all enjoyed the video. This is the man you be signing out, and have a great day. <laughs>